Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zendesk for customer service. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the latest offerages under this video. So let's get started. So how do we start using Zendesk here? So for you to start using Zendesk, what we need to do first here is we need to basically create our account for Zendesk. In this case, you just need to go to your official website and basically create your account. So typically, there's going to be a demo or try it for free at the top right there. Just follow the on-screen steps to create your account. But in this case, once you're in this case, once you have a demo account or your account, if you already bought the plan or you already have a plan with Zendesk, what we need to do here is we now need to basically understand the UI for Zendesk. So the homepage here would actually uh, actually contain different or basic information about your account. So, for example, if you have like, for example, you have like a client's opened up at, at your dashboard, different tickets is currently open. And also it contains some uh, information here. Like, for example, the, uh, for example, if you're just pretty new, it's going to say your trial uh, home here. You also see dashboard here, which includes all the tasks that you have right now and all the comments or updates to your tickets here. So if you want to have a general information or general idea what just happened in the last day, like for example, if you've actually went home and the next day you want to know what happened, this is what you need to do here. So you just need to go to dashboard and be updated what actually happened to your tickets. Now, at the left side here, we have different tabs, obviously. So in this case, we have our home, like what we just recently discussed, but we also have the view section, which in this case is a more detailed version. So in this case, uh, you could actually view the different tickets that you have right now. You can add filters if you want to have, like for example, if you want to filter them by request date, if you're looking for something or by type, if you want to prioritize only specific uh, tickets. Uh, you could go ahead and filter them in here and start managing them. So in this case, uh, you could also use views, different views here, like all unresolved. If you want to view all the tickets that is unresolved, we also have the sample delivery increase here, which is a new view here that you could create. And yeah. Now, also, when you click on actions at the top right here, you have the option to edit the view, clone the view, or even export as CSV if you want to. But yeah, if you want to click on the tickets that you see here, you have the option to start managing those tickets. So you can also chat with the ticket here. As you can see, this person actually uh, said the following. You can reply to them if you want to make it this as a, a public reply, make this as an internal note, or even call the number for this one. Now, you could also see the left side here, which in this case contains the basic information about this ticket. So you have the requester for this ticket, the assignee, which is you. So you could change this or assign this to another one. If you could, uh, uh, in this case, if you have different per, uh, people within your organization itself. We also have the followers here. So you could add uh, uh, the people that could follow this ticket here as well. And you could add tags here if you want to uh, basically have a quick way to access your ticket by using tags. We also have the type of ticket here and the priority itself. Now, at the right side, we contain the information about your client as well as the interaction history here. So if they added like any comments or if there are any messages or any updates, so again, this is where you'll be able to see them. In this case, let's go ahead and go back into our ticket here. Uh, yeah, so in this case, you could also uh, use the play here. So in this case, serve available tickets in this view. So if you want to do that as well, you can also use the top right here, which includes the option to basically uh, access different things here, like the help center, you can gather a uh, community forum or chat with a uh, live, uh, live chat messaging option here, have the chat, a ch a talk, explore, sell. So obviously there's going to be a lot here, but in this case is focused on the basics. So we have our account as well. If you want to change a few things like um, your profile, you can go ahead and get help if you're having users with the app itself and keyboard shortcuts, help center if you want to learn more about the platform itself. But in this case, at the left side, you also have the customers. Now, if you want to create new customers, you go and click on add customer at the top right here and provide the basic information that includes their name and email. But in this case, once you've entered that, you'll see a next page here, which in this case, you now need to enter uh, other information about them, like their number and uh, different things like tags, the language, the time zone and details and some notes regarding a specific customer. You could also set the user type to, depending on them, like staff member or end user. I also have the option to uh, view things here. Like for example, the default view for different customers is going to be their tickets. So in this case, if you've created different tickets for one customer, you should be able to see it uh, specifically in here. So this is going to be their request tickets that they actually submitted. You can also use security settings here for way to uh, basically, uh, in this case, uh, a password for it. 
you also have your related here so anything that is actually in a house relationship or records that is related to a specific customer here but in this case in your uh for example we want to access one of the clients here let's go ahead and access one of the clients here we have this one in this case we have our ticket here so you could go ahead and click on the actual ticket here and same thing you should be able to see uh, their uh, ui here which is case uh same thing like we discussed before you should be able to see the chat that you have with, with them and you also have the followers and all the stuff but another thing you could do here is you could also actually create a new ticket so at the top right of their profile you have the new ticket here you could go and click on it and you'll have the option to add and sign in follower and even start messaging them so you, in this case, you could create a ticket for them just in case they uh, don't know how to actually create a new ticket uh, for themselves. But yeah, so in this case, other the side, you also have the option to create different organizations. So not only you could actually create tickets for uh, specific customers, you could also create tickets for certain organizations. So let's go ahead and click on software company here, which is the default company that we just created. And from here, you could view different tickets regarding that specific uh uh, company so in this case uh, if you want to view more like for example add users merge into another organization this is uh, how you do it so if you want to create a new organization let's go add organization here you could go and add their name here and their domains if you want to like for example want to say dot com here let's go and click on add and as you can see it is now our organization so let's go and add someone here let's go add a user so maybe I want to say it is going to be a, a sample user and their email is going to be sample at email.com. Let's go ahead and add one. Let's go ahead and add here. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to access this user. Let's go add a ticket for this user. So for example, let's go assign this to support and assign to yourself. And we want to add a, a name for this ticket. So for example, problem ticket. And we want to go ahead and uh, just a few things like priority. Let's go ahead and set this to normal. Add notes here if you want to. But in this case, once you've actually uh, added all the details you have here, let's go ahead and click on the submit button here. Let's go ahead and choose a new. And uh, in this case, we also need to provide a description for this one. So uh, in this case, add a description. Now in this case, once you've created your ticket, when we actually go back to our organization here, as you can see, the ticket for that specific user under that organization should also appear in here. So if you want to organize like fixed tickets uh, or uh, and you want to prioritize a specific company, you can basically view their uh, company here or organization and view the tickets that they have right now or open here. But you need to have a uh, requester here, so you might want to add another user if you don't have a user for that specific company here. But yeah, so also we have our uh, analytics or reporting section here, which is a great way for you to view what is currently happening right now on your uh, company, how tickets are progressing. But in this case, you can go and click on ta uh, Take Me Explorer here to learn more about the reporting process they have. And you also have the uh, uh, system updates here or the admin page here that uh, includes the system updates, feature usage here, triggers, automations, and views uh, for your account. So also at the very top here, you have the quick tabs that you could actually access. Like for example, if you want to fix like uh, two uh, two tickets at the same time, you could go and just visit them at the same time here by switching tabs, which is a great feature here for you to basically multitask if you want to do that. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So those are the basics that you need to know here to start using Zendesk and you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.